Hey guys, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to be here and I'm, I'm here with Marina who I'm crazy about shooting and we've been having some fun uh, getting some pictures together. But we're gonna talk about what I consider the final ingredient in portraiture and that's direction. <laughs> We went over my gear, we went over my lenses, my body, we went over lighting, we gave you different lighting scenarios and setups. But if you get the, if you have the best looking person, a, a gorgeous human being um, who looks amazing, who's super uber talented, and they get in front of the camera and they just turn to mush and they look like they're blank and I call it Nefa face, they have non-existent facial activity. Um, that doesn't get you anywhere. Then you still don't have a shot. You still got all the gear, you got everything looking good, and then you have no shot. So the connection becomes so important, especially when you're taking headshots. The subject is looking through your lens. So she's looking down the barrel of the lens. I want her to make that connection with her through the lens so she feels more like she's looking at me than in a camera. And that's yeah, kind of... Totally, because looking down the barrel of the lens can be extremely crippling sometimes, you know, and make you feel really anxious. So it's nice when you have somebody on the other side of that lens um, that you can trust. Exactly. Yeah. Your job is to create that connection with the human being in front of your camera. And it doesn't matter if you're shooting a headshot and you're three feet in front of them, or if you're, you know, 10 feet away shooting a portrait. It matters about the connection. So that's all that I do. So what you're gonna see is you're gonna see how I connect. You're gonna see, I'll talk about my positioning and my subjects. I, I, I'm not a big fan of the word pose, but it's essentially what we're doing. But pose feels so like pose to me. And I like people, I call it loose positioning, but I move them. The main point of all of this, and the thing that I wanna stress, and this is why I want you guys to work on this, is that my technical is not, in question when I'm photographing. Like all my lights, it's repetition, it's all the same. Like my settings, my settings, my camera, my lens, my lights, everything is the same for every other human being. It's very locked down. What does that, what does that allow me to do? Focus on my subject. I don't have to think about anything else. All I'm doing is focusing on you and how we're gonna get something interesting and that's it. When you get there, you've got something. Hey, um, you've been pretty good. Thank you. Yeah, we've I've been really sh appreciate that. we've shot a lot, but you got a couple other looks I want to shoot. Oh yeah. Should we show them how we roll together Absolutely. and how we're gonna get this? You guys ready? <laughs> You're ready. She's ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. All right, guys. I got her in the lights. How cool is this, right? She's been in there before. She's acclimated. I know she's good, but I want to tell you what I do from the start as if she wasn't. Okay, so we're gonna just do that. Um, I always start with people straight straight at the camera. So turn straight towards the camera. So now I've got her straight on. I'm gonna have her look down the barrel of the lens. If you guys have watched anything that I've done, you gotta check out my video. It's all about the jaw, where you get the jawline out like this. So I have them do that. Yeah, do that right there. Now I'll size her up. Beautiful, beautiful. Now I took two shots. I took one straight on and then I recomposed. Don't take the same shot twice. Do not put your camera on burst mode. Just single shot. When you see what you like, you press the shutter. That's it. Turn the other way. Try that, hold that right there, I love that. Actually, get your snout over there. There you go, good. I could say nose, but I say nostrils or snout, why? It's part of my thing, it's just funnier. If you guys go to hurleyisms.com, it's all these little one-liners I say, so I'll say a couple to her if I can remember them, because I don't say as many as I used to, but I will try something. Um, give me a look like you're experiencing a coincidence, go. <laughs> Good, can you look thirsty? <laughs> okay, I got a couple moves that you need to see. All right, the first one I call my HLSM maneuver. I don't know why I came up with that, but that's what it is. So, and it has to do with the jawline. So, Marina, turn towards me, turn straight towards me. Imagine there's a hook in, did I say this to you? I did, yeah, I did. Imagine there's a hook in the top of your head and it's attached to the ceiling and you're attached to the string. Everybody do this, do it while you're sitting there. Just come up like this. What do we do? We just tensioned all this, just better. So she's up and now imagine that there is a lasso around your neck and it's resting on your collarbones and I attach it to the wall behind you. So your collarbones cannot come forward, but now, your neck is like a giraffe, so your actual, your head can come forward, but your, your neck can't, yeah, like that. And then what I was gonna say is imagine that there's a string between your nose and this lens, and I'm pulling it, there you go. But relax your sternocleidomastoid, there you go, that's it. Do you know what that is? <laughs> okay, 
So hold your hands like this, and then immediately I watch the way the arms go out of frame. I want them to go down out of frame, so this helps. Rather than this, if people put their arms like this, it goes like out of frame like this, even this isn't as good as something like this. It just turns your shoulders in. So I call that holding the sub and the chin down. Good, there you go, good. So a lot of times simpler is better. Don't over tilt and over rotate and things of that nature. Um, I keep it pretty simple. But jawline and arms going out of frame, Huge. Confidence comes from the eyes, so does fear. So what happens when people get uncertain of something? They open their eyes and they look like a deer in the headlights. So I have people close them down, which is narrowing the distance between the lower eyelid and the pupil. So it looks like this. So can you squinch a little bit? Oh, I love it. That's it. There it is. There it is. Just, just real subtle. Get the corners of your mouth to bend, bend them toward your earlobe so your mouth starts to form a U. Nose this way. So I will do anything to not say the word smile. Have you ever said the word smile to somebody and they go like this? We don't want that. That doesn't do us any good. I love that it's also continuous, that you're giving me one thing after the other, so that, you know, I might have uh, my best angle in my head and I'm thinking, oh gosh, or my, is my left eye too squinty or whatever, you know, the millions of thoughts that run through your head when you're down the barrel of a lens. And, uh, and it just goes right away when you give me things in, su in succession to do instead of to think about. Marina's very talented. She's, she's going to be on Broadway, you know, she's obviously got a, a lot of experience in front of human beings and, and she's got a beautiful voice and she's, she's got all this talent built in. So for her to be in front of a camera, not as daunting as somebody that you might be shooting, like I do corporate headshots, these people don't like being in front of the camera. You're just trying to get the best out of them. Everybody's got beauty, it's your job to find it. You have to find that beauty. In order to find that beauty, you gotta get to them and you gotta make them forget about the things that bug them about themselves. We all have it. As photographers, it's for us to show people's beauty, and in order to get that out, you've got to find it. It's your job. It's just what we do. So if you have really great lighting, you're going to get some really nice shots of that person, and they're going to value it in the long run. They will. I always tell my clients, hey, in 10 years from now, you are going to love this photo. we got to take it today, because in 10 years, you're going to love this sucker. Okay, guys, I hope you liked this video, and I hope you got a lot out of it. I'd love you, for you to join my crew. I started the Headshot crew years ago. We've got thousands of photographers on it. I'm teaching them not only how to take pictures, how to run a business and how to make money with Headshot Photography. Come join me free for a week. You got nothing to lose. Last but not least, thank you B&H for coming to my studio. I can't tell you when I first walked into the doors of B&H and bought that first dark room and took it into my mom's basement and started working my craft how important my relationship with B&H has been for all these years. So I appreciate you guys coming. Guys, we gotta leave it with it. Will you shebang with me? Oh, absolutely. Here we go. Three, two, one. Shebang! shebang. <laughs> <laughs>